Hey, what's up guys? I want to welcome you back to my channel. If you haven't already done so, I want to invite you to subscribe because in this channel we do tons of great DIY projects just like the one that we are doing right now. Your wedding invites are literally what sets the mood for the tone of your wedding and what your guests will expect at your wedding day. So it's really important and it's super fun to customize them so that they can see what your whole theme is all about. Wedding invitations can be super expensive. I mean, they can go from hundreds to even thousands of dollars. And in this DIY, I want to show you a couple techniques that you can do at home so that you can do your own wedding invites at home for super, super cheap. I know that you're going to enjoy this project, so let's get right to it. I bought a pack of these cardstock paper from Michaels. They come in 100 pieces for only 10 bucks, and then you can use your 50% off coupon and get that even cheaper. This is the perfect paper for this project because it's thick enough so that it holds the watercolors, and it's thin enough so that the paper actually goes through your printer unlike those very, very thick watercolor paper. So pulling some inspiration from some gorgeous green geodes that I've seen on Pinterest, we are going to use that as our main color. I'm also adding some purple for some accent color and there's literally no right or wrong way to paint this. Just do keep in mind where you are going to put the text so that you don't paint that area too dark. So I'm going to paint a bunch of these because we're going to use it for our invites, our menus, and also our RSVP cards. And of course you have a whole palette to choose whatever color you want your wedding theme to be. So play around with that and choose what you like. Now for the text, I just literally went on PicMonkey and this is what I use for all my other DIYs just because it's easier for me. But you can use Photoshop, you can use Word. For example, I'm customizing a menu here, but you can create your wedding invites with the same fonts and your RSVP cards. You can get super creative with this. When you're done, you can put in the paper that we painted earlier into the printer and then just customize your print settings and it should come out like this. Of course, your RSVP cards aren't going to be 5x7 for instance. Well, we can customize the size of these papers as well. I wanted my menu to be a little bit thinner, so that's why I'm cutting it into a smaller piece just like this and i know what you're thinking this could be a lot of work to cut all the menus and whatever other cards it may be so if you're doing more than 30 invites per se you can just get a paper cutter from michael's they are super cheap and that will save you a lot of time if you're doing something smaller make sure that you print two in one paper don't waste paper like i did and now onto our last detail and this is literally what is going to make this theme pop is our embossing with gold powder. So we're going to take our embossing pen and we are literally just drawing some lines. I know they're invisible and you can't see them but they will show up as soon as you put the powder on them. So I'm just putting that on the border of the green and the purple and then when you're done you can take your embossing powder and just sprinkle a little bit over top or actually I sprinkled a lot but then you just have to shake that off and everything comes off except for the place where you put the pen on. Now we're going to take our heating embossing gun and we're just going to dry that and check it out. I mean like look at that magic. It creates this really nice 3D metallic lifted detail on your invite that is just so unique. I mean I'm loving this. So of course you got to add this detail to every single piece in your wedding because this is literally your theme. This just gives me so much life every time I dry it because, I mean, look at it, it's amazing. For minimal cleanup, make sure you put that folded white piece of paper when you're pouring your powder so that you can just easily put that back into the container. beautiful I mean I'm totally in love with them let me know in the comment down below what you think of this DIY and make sure that you subscribe for more fun stuff I will see you in the next one thanks for watching